Hey there, welcome back to my channel. This is English, also known as Anna Gandrabura, and I'm here to teach you English. Before I tell you why you should stop saying postpone, I would like you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss my video lessons. Also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you really find this video useful. Let's get the ball rolling. All right, guys, you should stop saying postpone when you want to reschedule a meeting or a lesson or an event or something else for later. The thing is, uh, postpone is very, very formal. And to be honest, I have, I don't think I've ever heard native speakers use postpone in a conversation. Of course, I've heard this word many times from students. And I've also seen this word being used in English textbook many times. However, in real life, postpone would be only used in very formal written English in situations like, for example, a change of um, your flight status or something like that. So it's not going to be conversational situation. It's not going to be like real English. That is why stop saying postpone. But you're going to ask me, Anna, what do I say when I want to say to postpone a meeting, for example? How do I say to postpone a meeting? Well, you can say to reschedule a meeting for for example, a later time. However, there are other alternatives. For example, you can say to push back the meeting. To push back the meeting is very popular alternative. It's a phrasal verb, right? So it's quite conversational, but it is used in business all the time by both the British and the American English speakers. Feel free to say push back the meeting. For example, in an email, you can say, Hi, John, I'm running late. I'm running late uh, is another way to say I am late. Again, very popular among native speakers. So you can say, Hi, John, I'm running late. Can we push back the meeting to two o'clock, for example? There is another phrase that we can use when talking about rescheduling. It's uh, move up, but move up will be also followed by two. Move something up to like a certain time, right? So you will use a time after two, but to move something up is more akin to when you actually have something earlier because something else got canceled. For example, at the doctor's office, uh, when you made your appointment, for example, at 12 p.m., they may call you and tell you that somebody canceled their appointment and now they can move you up to 11 o'clock. This is like a new available slot, for example, right? So they offer you an earlier appointment because somebody else canceled their appointment. Almost forgot that there is another phrasal verb, you see? Only phrasal verbs are used when talking about scheduling for some reason. There is another phrasal verb that you can use instead of postpone that is more appropriate. It is put off. To put something off, again, it's delay something uh, to do something later. So you can put the meeting off uh, just like you push the meeting back. All right, let's recap. What do we have? How do we stop saying postpone? We don't say postpone because we can say put off, push back, and also we can use a move up to when talking about something that has been made earlier because something else got canceled. Now practice time. Imagine that you have a meeting with me tomorrow at 3 p.m. and you cannot make it. By the way, when you say you can't make it, it means you can't come to the meeting. Another useful phrase, right? So you can't make it. You will be running late. I hope you remember this phrase too. You will be running late. You need to let me know. Let me know means you need to write a message to me in the comments and ask me to reschedule this meeting. Tell me when you want to have this meeting and uh, you want to have this meeting later, not at 3 p.m. So tell me in the comments and make sure you use one of the phrasal verbs that I have shared in this video. Let's go.